I've made very clear that we can't break faith with those in the service. We've made a promise to people who are on duty that we're going to provide a certain level of retirement. We're not going to back away from that. We've got to maintain that promise. Uh, those people have been deployed time and time again. They put their lives on, on, the, on the line in the battlefield. Uh, and uh, we're not, uh, not going to pull the rug out from under them. We're going we're to stand by the promise that was made to them. So uh, one of the commitments that I've made is that uh, in any circumstance related uh, to this uh, issue, we are going to protect those that are in the service today. Uh, and, and we're going to grandfather. I've seen in the discussions about this. I reject the characterization of our military retirement program today as kind of guilt-edged and, uh, and, and the comparison to civilian retirement programs. Look, it might turn out that our current plan is unaffordable and we'll have to do something about it. But when we put a retirement program together, it's because these young men and women who become old men and women who serve for 20 years, who put themselves in harm's way, who move 10 or 15 times, who can, some of them can buy a house, some of them can't, their spouses rarely can have employment because we move them around, not voluntarily. They move because we tell them to go where the nation needs them. That retirement program needs to be fundamentally different than anything you find in the civilian sector, in my view. We can figure it out. We need the time to do so. If it's unaffordable, we'll react. But I, I want to reject outright the idea that, that somehow my retirement program, or more important, Sergeant Major Battaglia, should be compared to someone else's. Thank you. Serve Thank you. 20 or 15 or a number of years that they were going to get something substantially less than what they had signed up for. So, for the record, I'm absolutely clear. I'd like to hear from both of you that you are adamantly opposed to that happening, to changing those retirement benefits for our serving men and women. I am adamantly opposed to changing the retirement benefits for those who are currently on active duty, but I'm also open to look at potential changes to the retirement system as part of our overall look at compensation for the future for the future and Mr. secretary yeah ab absolutely we just we cannot break faith with those uh, that have served and deployed time and time again and were promised uh, the benefits uh, of this retirement program those benefits are going to be protected under any circumstance thank you outstanding mr chairman i yield back